Hey guys, what's up? It's Tanner, also known as Ang, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video. This is my Friday video, and I'm welcome to you, welcome you guys to today to this video. Um, this is a Tanner Talks video. It's not going to be a day in the life. Day in the life will probably be on Sunday. I might do like a kind of slash thing. That might be my Sundays and Wednesdays. I'm going to do like a you know Tanner Talks slash day in the life because I'm going to recap ESL um, the ESL ESEA Pro League um, the whole tournament, um, and I'll like go through my uh, my predictions and whatnot. So today, that's moving this in. So I couldn't find anything CS wise to talk about or discuss um, because most everything is tied up in the obviously the ESL ESCA Pro League finals that are going on <coughs> that are going on right now. Um, there, it's kind of all tied up in that. There really isn't a whole lot of um, you know CS news coming out right now. So obviously, I said Sunday, you know, recaps most likely. Um, then maybe a little bit about what's going on this weekend. I might be hanging out with Janessa, so we'll see about that. Uh, so today, um, I'm going to give you guys a quick recap of today's games, or Thursday's games, last night. Um, it's a, currently 12.55 a.m. on Friday morning um, for me right now. Um, I did that very specifically. There's a very specific reason on why I did that, and I'll explain that here in a second. So... Um, uh, as you guys know, uh, these Friday videos or these Tanner Talk videos are supposed to be somewhere between like 10 and 20 minutes long. So you can stay if you want. Hold on. Sorry, one sec. You can stay if you want. Um, but, you know, if you don't have the time, maybe you can't listen, whatever. Um, I appreciate it. Um, but I love you anyway, even if you can't stay. So if you are going to leave please smash that like button maybe hit the subscribe button if you want on the way out your door on the way out the door and I'll see you guys on Sunday if you guys want to check out my video then it'll be a lot shorter um, for those of you who are going to stay uh, let's get right into it oh um, so the reason that I'm uploading this on Friday this is kinda of going into the big thing um, I'm uploading this on Friday is because I'm doing predictions for t for today's games which start at 10 a.m. PST um, Pacific and if I uploaded them like middle of the day, then my predictions wouldn't matter because there would already be games happening or that have happened, and it wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna record it and upload it really early, so that way um, I can get everything out and my predictions are still relevant. Um, so today, the ESEL ESEA Pro League Finals match matches that happened today uh, include the first one was um, Team NVS versus Team Liquid. And this is the Group A first match. And in this match, Team Envious beat Team Liquid 2-0. They kind of crushed them, actually, for the most part. Um, on Cobble, they won 16-14. to And on Cash, they won 16-5. to um, You know, while Team Liquid had a stand-in, uh, Mo, they probably would have done better, maybe, with um, Elyse, because, you know, they've beaten VP before. But I still don't think it would have made too much of a difference. Um, you know, but, I mean, what happened happened can't go back to it they're still gonna have a stand-in tomorrow so it's you know they're not really where they're where they should be at so I don't think this is a good um, analysis of maybe how their team is doing as a whole I don't think it's any good analysis because they have a stand-in um, so you know my person uh, so what I'm gonna do is also I'm gonna give personal MVPs just to everybody that I think you know maybe deserved an MVP for the for these matches today and maybe the map <coughs> so that being said my personal MVP for this series was Big Shocker, Happy. And he's usually always up there for the MVPs for most matches with Team Envious. He's a high fragging player. Very good, very well thought out, very methodical. Um, you, you probably know him for his uh, 4K, or actually his 5K um, ace deagle on, on, on Inferno when he was holding that corner uh, in CT by, um, by bo uh, B Bombsite. And so I gave him the my MVP for the day because he ended up with 27 frags um, on Mirage, and then he had 23 <coughs> on Inferno as well. And he just fucking went ham and just killed everybody. Didn't you know? Did really really well. Helped his team out. Bring bring the brought them the win. So you know I'm gonna give him the MVP. Um, it was cool to see. Uh, oh, sorry. No, I was incorrect. I'm sorry. He had 20... Sorry, that was so wrong. I apologize. I was looking at my notes and I accidentally scrolled down too far. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Happy had 24 frags on Cobblestone, 21 on Cash. I was thinking of Olafmeister, sorry. Um, yeah, he uh, he top fragged on both games. 
Uh, so clear MVP, 24 frags, cobblestone, 21 on cash. So that's why, that's why I gave it to him. So now, moving on to uh, Fnatic and Conquest, where I should have been. Um, so yeah, anyway, Happy is obviously still a really good player, top frag, but yeah, anyway, um, different person, so I don't know why I said that. Yeah, so this was Group A's second match. Uh, it wasn't super big surprise that Conquest lost 2-0 today against Fnatic. I mean, you know, it's... Anyway, it's Conquest. I wasn't expecting them to, you know, really pull anything crazy, pull anything, you know, insane. So uh, they won 16-4 to on Mirage and 16-10 to on Inferno, and they actually... Um, obviously they looked really strong on Mirage, and if you look at the initial score, or the box score, you might think that Fnatic still did pretty well on Inferno because they won, um, you know, 16 to 10. So you might think that they actually did pretty well, but it was a lot closer than it should have been if you ha if you didn't watch the game. They had a 14 to 1 half um, on T side or on CT side. They had a 14 to 1 CT side, and then when they switched and Conquest got CT side. Um, Conquest actually pulled back nine rounds, and it was actually pretty crazy how much gusto they had towards the end. So, you know, I, I, I'm giving them a lot of praise for that. I don't think that, you know, any team can just come out on an opposite side and be down 14 to 1. There's no, there's not a whole lot of teams that can just be like down 14 to 1, flip sides, and just pull 10 rounds on Fnatic like that, or nine rounds on Fnatic like that. It doesn't happen very often. Sometimes people don't really have the, the mental capacity to do that, but they did. Um, they still lost, obviously, 2-0, but, you know, it was really cool seeing them do that. So, as I said earlier, just a second ago, um, the MVP for the series was Olaf Meister. He took the prize, top fragging on Mirage with 27 kills, and then he brought 23 to the table on Inferno as well. Um, just, yeah, uh, JW actually had 26, um, so he fragged over him, but he had more frags on Mirage, and he had, um, only three less kills than JW in that, in that game, so I figured... You know, he probably still deserved MVP more than that. So, um, yeah, anyway, it was cool to see uh, Conquest Gusto for that match. I think that maybe in the future they could pull some maps off of uh, EU teams. We'll see if they stay together. I don't think I could see them beating an EU team in the future at the moment, but, you know, maybe they'll pull maps off of them and they'll get closer. Um, so next up, <laughs> so I, I don't really know how to write this out because... So, if you know what the next match is, you know that it's um, question mark, TQM, XTSM, or really whatever the fuck you want to call them. Some people still call them TSM, some people call them XTSM, TQM for the question mark, and then or just question mark. So I kind of prefer question mark, so I'm just going to use that. So if you know, if you don't know what question mark is, or I say it too much and you don't really understand what it means, just put it in the comments, um, and I'll, I'll explain it. Um, maybe somebody else will. Um, yeah, anyway. It's it's TSM. It's XTSM. T it's the question mark. So if you hear me refer to that from here on out, then that's what it means. So they played uh, CLG, and if you didn't watch the event, the jerseys they had like question marks on them. They were fucking awesome. They had question marks with their names on the back. Uh, they showed up, and today it was hilarious. I put a link in the description if you want to see. Um, I just took a, a snapshot a snapshot from the um, the Twitch stream when they came on. It was really hilarious. I thought I put it in the video. Uh, so it's at the bottom in the description in the link. Uh, so this was the Group B's first match, and it was actually a pretty surprising series. Uh, it was actually a 2-0 win, um, a 2 series win for Question Mark. And the reason it was so, like, surprising isn't because TSM isn't the better team. Obviously TSM, you know, on paper is the better team. But since TSM has dropped from, since, since Question Mark was dropped from the TSM, um, uh, organization, they... Um, they had been, you know, they've been, and actually a little bit before that too, they've been lackadaisical, and their performances were shoddy at best. You know, uh, with such a good lineup, it's hard to, you know, it's so sad to see them part with their organization, but they just weren't pulling quality tournaments like they should have been with their lineup. And so, you know, plus, I think there's also been rumors that TSM is making an NACS team just because their uh, League of Legends um, team is, is uh, <laughs> sorry, if you heard that was my cat meowing. Um... Their League of Legends team is NA, so that um, might have been why they were. Uh, that might have been why they were, you know, dropping TSM from the <laughs> from the uh, thing. Sorry, my cat was just like jumping around my desk, just distracting me. Uh, so, uh, sorry. However, getting back on track, um, 
question mark smoked CLG after uh, after a strong 10-5 half halftime. CLG was up 10-5 at the half on Mirage, and uh, question mark actually came back and ended up winning 16 to 12. They had a 9 to 2 run. Um, a 9 to er sorry. That'd be yeah nine, no sorry. Why can't I think of this? 14. Yeah 11. Sorry 11 to 2 run um, on their. Uh, um, on their T side, which is interesting because usually, well, actually, Mirage is, I guess, technically a T side map, so that's not super surprising. Also, if you don't know, they're playing on pre patch. Uh, if you have played CS since the patch, you know that CS sucks now, which is awesome. Really fucking love that. Yeah, they, they ruined CS, Valve ruined CS pretty much. It's a shitty game now. I mean, you can still do well in it. I still probably pull 20 frags a game for the most part, but it's. It's a shitty game. I don't like the AK. I don't like rifles anymore. Rifles suck now. Plus the R8 revolvers all people use. People are just spamming timeouts now in game. No one's using it correctly. It's just it's just not very good. The there was a cool thing that they added how they um they made the pistol. Sorry, this is kind of getting off track, but they moved the pistol um the movement speed. They moved it like they like got cut it in half like the accuracy of pistols when you're running. So you can't like one tap somebody with a tech nine as much anymore, but you can still one tap somebody with a revolver. Cause why the fuck not? Let's just give somebody a cannon. So anyway, oh, similar made a funny comment. Um, what was it? Uh, it was on stream today. He said they took nuke out of the lineup for competitive games, but they gave you a nuke instead in your hands, which is I don't know, it's kind of funny. Or give you a pistol that shoots nukes. So anyway, um, if you watch the matches tomorrow, they're not. They're using pre-patch, so you won't see any revolvers. You won't. You will see a lot more spraying. Um, yeah, a lot more pistol runs, stuff like that. It's so it'll look. Like, it'll look like old CS, good CS. Uh, so moving back on track. Uh, let's see. They beat CLG sixteen to six on Inferno, like I said, and then they beat them sixteen to twelve on Mirage. Uh, so I guess I would give this. MVP probably just to device because you know he um, he's he was actually up there you know being nominated for like one of the best players in the world actually for a while but you know they never really pulled out like the the wins that they should have been getting but I mean he uh, let's see he managed 27 kills on both Mirage and Inferno with only 24 deaths uh, total from both maps so he had 27 kills and 14 deaths on mirage and then 27 kills and 10 deaths on inferno basically just shit on everybody went insane um nobody could contest him he was just going crazy which is really cool to see because he's m probably my favorite player in the entire world of cs and so i always love seeing him do really well it just kind of sucks that you know they don't really have an organization organization anymore but you know i think they'll get they'll get somewhere somebody out I, I don't know how it's going to work out maybe they'll break up but whatever I know Device will get some good offer because he's a really good player. So uh, my main point for TSM with this thing was like I don't think they're going to win the tournament. Uh, maybe they're probably not even going to place top four. Fifth Lauren didn't think they were going to even get to top four. But beating CLG was a good beating CLG was was a good confidence booster today. Uh, so you know maybe they can get their confidence back a little bit. Maybe even be Navi. Probably not, but we'll see. So um, the last game of the day was Navi versus LG, and it was the last Group B match two of Group B. <clears throat> and uh, Navi won this match 2-0, which wasn't too shocking. Um, most people bet on LG because of their recent, you know, uh, Face It Three Stage League Finals, where they beat Fnatic 1-0 and then beat Team Envious 2-1, NIP 2-1, TSM 2-1 before they lost to Fnatic again. Um, or before they played Fnatic again and then lost 2-1 to one in the finals. But it was still a pretty fucking crazy run to see a team that had just been, like, doing okay, taking maps off of AU, EU teams for for just, like, random random times, like, taking best of ones from them. Like, they beat Fnatic in a best of one um, in Cluj, I think. Yeah, I think in Cluj. I'll double check that. Let me double check this, just because I, I want to get it right. Okay, so it wasn't that clues when they beat NIP. 
Hold on. I thought I was at... Sorry, one sec. I should have had this prepared, my apologies. Oh yeah, they played them at, uh, yeah, yeah, Cluj. Sorry, I had it right, okay. They played them, um, yeah, they played them and beat them 1-0 uh, and a best of one. <coughs> best of one against Fnatic and Cluj. Sorry. Besides that, um, I don't think that or so, so uh, Navi won 2-0. They beat them. Um, oh, actually, there were allegations. Sorry, I was going to put this in. There were allegations that uh, LG was cheating, actually, at um, the Face It Stage 3 League Finals just because they were, you know, going insane for, like, no reason. All of a sudden, out of the blue, they were just going, like, fucking ham crazy insane, which maybe they were just on a high or whatever. We don't know. Um, they were just on, like, a really high. Like, you know how Cloud9 did really, really well for, like, they got to three consecutive finals, and they basically just shut the bed after that. So maybe there's something like that going on. But, you know, LG's been doing okay recently. But Navi's been kind of like their their kryptonite a little bit, I guess. So they've been, you know, they haven't really beat Navi, actually, since they've played them at lands. They haven't ever beat them. Or at least not in a while. Um, from what I could find, they, you know, they lost to them at... Uh, let's see, they lost to them at... Uh, IEM San Jose, they lost them at, um, anyway, I'm not going to get into it, they've lost to them a lot, um, yeah, anyway, they lost them a ton, and they lost to them at this tournament as well, 2-0, um, sorry, I'm like all over the place tonight, anyway, uh, Navi beat LG 16-5 on Dust 2, and then they beat them 19-15 on Inferno, which is a very fun game to watch, super close, a lot of fun. Uh, really good individual performances, actually, from LG and Navi on both sides. It was really, really good. Um, so I actually have two MVPs for this game, um, for these matches. One for uh, Flamey because on um, Dust2, because he ended 25-7, and seven, and he had a solid six kills over all of his teammates, at the very least. Um, he had six kills over everybody. So, you know, he gave a lot of individual performance on that Dust2 map um, for their win. Um... So there was that, and then on Lumi on actually on Inferno, I gave one to Luminosity. Um, I gave it the MVP to FNX because of his ability to prevail uh, even when the team was struggling at like really hard times. They were struggling in the map, and he brought them back and ended up with 29 kills, almost a 30 bomb. Um, and yeah, he you know he had more kills than anybody on Navi's side. Um, so I think that he was really important in getting the getting the win or getting the getting at least the overtime. He was really important to that, even though they lost. You know, they, he was still really important. So I give him the MVP for Inferno, and then Flamey for Dust2. Um, so I'm gonna try to make. Let's see, how much time do I have left? Wow. Okay, <laughs> I need to move fast. So uh, I'm gonna try and make these predictions really quick for the rest of the tournament because I don't have a lot of time. So, and I can't really do a whole lot of before event analysis because they're already at the event, so we're just going to kind of do it really quickly. So, today, this on Friday, in about 9 hours, we have T uh, Team Envious versus Fnatic at 10am um, Pacific Time. And I predict that Envy is going to win. The, um, it's probably going to be a close game, um, maybe a close couple maps, uh, depending on the pick band system, but it's probably still going to be a 2-1 to one over Fnatic, I think. Um, you know, Envy just has a stronger lineup. And the fact that Fnatic really um, struggled today to close out against Conquest shows that they're not as strong as they usually are. And Envy's only had time to get stronger, so I'm gonna obviously say Envy. Um, this is probably this video I'm just saying now is probably gonna go maybe another extra like six, seven minutes to maybe 25, 26 minutes. So I apologize for that, but it'll be a little more longer to listen to if you're interested in listening. So moving on, um, question mark is going to play Navi. Um, tomorrow at 1.20 p.m. P um, Pacific Time at PST. And uh, considering Navi has beat them consist recently or beaten teams that have beaten them recently, um, you know, for example, they beat, um, they beat them at IEM San Jose in the finals, and they beat NIP, who beat um, Question Mark or TSM at that time, uh, 2 to nothing at Cluj-Napoca. They beat NIP 2 nothing 
who had just beaten TSM 2 nothing. So with that performance, I would consider that Navi's probably going to win 2 to 1. However, I do hope that Question Mark wins. My hopes aren't high, and my prediction still stands as an Navi. So that's pretty much that. Um, the next team is Team Liquid plus Mo uh, versus Conquest, which is at 4:40 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. I'm not super excited for this game, but I may end up actually reporting on it tomorrow for ESN. I'll tweet that out if I do end up doing that, so you guys can come check it out if you want. Uh, normally, I would just say straight up Team Liquid is going to win this, just because they're the better team. Um, in my opinion, and I'd say they probably went it hands down 2-0, but I have no idea how less effective the, or how, let's say, like less strong this team is with um, this Team Liquid lineup is with Mo. So I'm predicting a 2-0 win for Team Liquid, but I think the maps will be pretty close. Who knows, maybe Conquest will pull a map, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're probably gonna, they're probably gonna win, the Team Liquid's probably gonna win at 2-0. I mean, you know, they did pull a lot of, um, they almost pulled a map off Fnatic, which is pretty cool, but I just really don't see them them doing it, even with the, you know, the squishy, I guess, Team Liquid lineup. Alright, so the last match, uh, the last decider kind of for the day is um, the decider for who gets to, anyway, for who goes where, um, is CLG versus Luminosity at 8pm uh, Pacific Time. And this will most likely be the closest matchup of the day besides Team Liquid and Conquest. Although CLG has been performing well and taking maps off of top name teams, I would say that Luminosity is probably going to take this 2-0 just because, you know, I could see an, I guess I could see an overtime game going somewhere, but it, you know, that wouldn't really surprise me, but I don't see CLG pulling it away. After Luminosity's recent runs, uh, you know, they have the capability to beat any team, so I would say that they're probably going to end up with a fifth or sixth spot in this tournament. Maybe they could get fourth. Could happen. We'll see. But I would say probably, you know, probably fifth or sixth. We'll see. So according to these predictions for Friday's, today's games that I just gave you guys, uh, that would mean that Team Envious is going to play the winner of Fnatic and Team Liquid because if Team Envious beats Fnatic, Fnatic will go down to the Group A decider and they'll play the winner of Team Liquid and Conquest, which I said was going to be Team Liquid. So that would be Fnatic and Team Liquid playing. So I would say probably they're going to play, um, you know, I would say probably they're going to play Fnatic, but uh, I'm so I would say Team Envious is probably still going to win that game because that would mean that Fnatic has had to play all day and Team Envious would be able to rest all day. And so I would just say that's that's you know that's probably a done deal. I think they'd still end up winning it, um, but that would mean that Fnatic and Team Envious would play again in the semifinals, and I would say Team Envious probably win that and go to the grand finals, which is where I'd expect them to be. So next, that would mean that according to my predictions, Navi would uh, play the winner of Question Mark and Luminosity in the twelfth uh, on the twelfth um, the, the Saturday tomorrow uh, in the semis. To be honest, I think that match could go either way, but I'd still probably go with Navi whether they play question mark or luminosity again i think i don't know it, i have i'm having trouble deciding between question mark and and luminosity for who would win that game um provided that my predictions go correctly who would win that game i'd probably say that you know i'd probably say that luminosity would win just because of the way they've been playing against them recently uh, you know tsm really hasn't been the top the top team that they've been as of late, so I would say Luminosity would probably win that, and then I'd say New Navi would probably win that again, meaning that Navi would play, because, you know, Navi could also rest while those teams are going to be playing all day. So that means Navi and Envious would play in the team fi the grand finals on the Sunday the 13th. Um, and in this matchup, I would definitely pick Team Envious, just because they've been consistently beating Navi on LAN the last three times they played at LAN, twice at Cluj Napoca, and one at, uh, uh, once at uh, ELSO 1 Cologne. They have not dropped a map against Navi. Uh, they won 2-0 at ESL uh, 1 Cologne, and they won 1-0 and then 2-0 at Cluj Napoca. Even though they lost online, to, even though they lose a lot online to Navi, I still feel like their performance is, you know, nonetheless than destructive. I guess against uh, when they play in the finals against them, according to my predictions. So uh, that's basically the main chunk of this video, guys. Remember to check out the links to the jerseys and the matches. I put the um, the matches for today in the um, for this morning in the description. So don't forget to check those links out. And then don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Twitter for updates on what's going on with me. And just real quick, I'm also looking for a video editor to do a really quick and to do really quick and easy edits for my videos. I'm trying to do like um, I want to do an outro, and I already have the song of what I want to do. And it wouldn't be too much editing. It'd just be like adding that into the video and then doing a little bit of like overlay. Um, for like past videos and stuff. It's not super complicated, but I can't do it myself and I don't have the program to do it. So if someone does have the program, please let me know. Check it out. Um, 
or let me know any programs that I should check out that aren't super expensive. Please let me know. I'm definitely down to pay somebody to, to you know, help me out with um, the video editing. So like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you all on Sunday. Peace.